Facebook and YouTube provide a perfect medium for broadcasting the sacred mass to the faithful in times when they cannot assemble with the liturgical communities. The faithful can participate from a phone, computer, smart TV, from almost anywhere away from the church. This even provides a unique option of watching recorded mass outside of scheduled mass hours. Any parish can start a live stream program with professional results and is very affordable. All you need is some basic equipment to get started. If your parish hasn't already, it is important to establish a Facebook page and a YouTube account. This way you can establish your online presence and identify administrators and page roles that will be necessary for going live. In this live stream setup, you will use your Facebook account to stream live and make a recording available through YouTube. This is because we will be using OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, that is free. The most important piece of equipment in this setup is the computer. It will be receiving video from two web cameras and audio from a stereo mixer, simultaneously transmitting it to the internet through Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Although you can use a desktop computer, you can't beat the portability of a laptop. We recommend using the latest version of Windows 10, an Intel Core i3 processor with at least 8 gigabytes of memory. Use a laptop that has an Ethernet port. Connecting to the internet with an Ethernet cable provides the best connection for live streaming, much better than Wi-Fi. Cat7 Ethernet cables are available up to 300 feet. All you have to do is connect to an open yellow LAN port on your modem. Some newer laptops don't have an Ethernet port. You can still connect using an Ethernet adapter that plugs into one of your USB ports. You will need at least three USB ports, two for the web cameras and one for the audio mixer. If you run short on USB ports, consider purchasing a USB hub that turns one USB port into many. One slot can be used for resource intensive devices such as the audio mixer and the others for less intensive such as a wireless mouse and keyboard. You can use two simple inexpensive web cameras, but at a minimum, they must be capable of autofocus and stream HD video up to 60 frames per second. For the exact placement of cameras, you can use USB extension cables and various sizes of tripods. The use of two web cameras will greatly increase the production value and allow you to incorporate a variety of shots by moving the cameras around during the broadcast. The biggest audience complaint during live stream is poor audio quality. Professional audio quality can be achieved with an inexpensive audio mixer that connects to your computer by USB. It is important to note that a lot of music industry devices such as audio mixers connect from the device to your computer with a standard USB printer cable identified as a Type B. Good thing to keep in mind in case you need a USB extension. Your microphone can connect to the mixer with an XLR or quarter inch tip ring sleeve cable, also known as a TRS cable. This will allow you to control the volume of each microphone independently using the slider control. You can use other channels to control other devices, such as a second computer, to play pre-recorded songs with the order of the mass. If you're just starting out and on a budget, this is a basic setup that you can use for broadcasting on Facebook or YouTube. We'll discuss each device a little more and explain the connection. The placement of the wired microphones for the ritual of the Mass can be divided into three phases. The introductory rites, the liturgy of the Word, and liturgy of the Eucharist. At the beginning of the Mass, the priest will go through the introductory rites. This usually consists of the greeting, penitential rite, the Gloria and opening prayer. The priest will usually perform these at or near the lectern. The microphone can be either a fixed microphone or on a stand. The Liturgy of the Word is conducted from the Ambo. It consists of the first reading, responsorial psalm, second reading, gospel acclamation, gospel reading, homily, and prayers of the faithful. The Liturgy of the Eucharist is celebrated at the altar. The wired microphone from the lectern can easily be moved to the altar, or a wireless microphone can be used. You will use the audio mixer to control the sound quality of the microphones. 
Connect them using the XLR or Corner Range TRC connections. The audio mixer will connect to the laptop using the USB connection. You can connect an external speaker to project audio to the congregation. Connect the speaker using a 3.5mm auxiliary cord. Place a web camera in front of the altar and the other in front of the ambo. Connect them to the USB port on the left and right side of the laptop. Do not connect the web cameras to a USB hub as this may degrade the video quality. Connect the audio mixer to the USB hub instead. The web camera in front of the altar can be panned to the left during the introductory rites and panned towards the center for the liturgy of the Eucharist. Connect the laptop to the internet using an ethernet cable or Wi-Fi connection. The ethernet connection is the most reliable and will allow you to stream up to 60 frames per second. Use Wi-Fi only as a last resort because the strength of the connection will vary during the broadcast, resulting in lower video and audio quality to the audience. Please subscribe and click on the notifications so you can get additional instruction as soon as it's published. The next video in this playlist will show how to set up open broadcaster software to connect the video and audio sources for your live stream and create scenes for the order of the mass.